Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 8th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the temperature trace at my house, and it certainly hasn't been going in the typical diurnal fashion of varying from highs during the daylight to lows at the early morning sunrise time. And uh, kind of interesting, it seems like since uh, yesterday morning, the temperature has basically been on the increase. Skycam Network from the Alpha Skycam Network at ABC 3340. There's the Trustville Skycam. We got some fog out there this morning. And also, as we look out over the lights at Tuscaloosa, certainly a foggy morning. And it looks like we're going to see a good wet soaking over the next several days. Culprit in all of this uh, appears to be a combination of the ridge over the... Um, Oh, I guess you'd say over the East Coast or just off the East Coast, as well as the trough over the Rockies. And that is putting, uh, pinching a... Um, band of moisture from the Pacific all the way up into New York, and that is creating some interesting problems. We've got a little surface low moving through the flow here that is uh, helping to create some interesting weather across the area. As you look at radar, you can see from the regional radar there's a good deal of precipitation over parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, and the Mid-South area, and that uh, is responsible for a good deal of winter weather advisory stretching all the way from central Texas all the way up to New York, as well as some winter weather advisories up there just to the west of Lake Michigan. And it uh, looks like for us, uh, the precipitation is going to stay primarily in the form of rain over the next several days. And uh, for the rain through uh, Wednesday morning, it looks like on the order of one to two inches is going to be highly likely for most spots. Storm Prediction Center is not out looking any organized severe thunderstorms. They are looking at the possibility of some thunder over the southeastern U.S. for today. All right, here's a look at modeling in the 06C GFS model run, and uh, there's uh, the precipitation pattern for today as we see waves of rain occurring across the area. And uh, we're kind of stuck in this pattern between the trough to our west and the ridge to our east, and that, again, tapping into that Pacific moisture. The pattern just doesn't change much on Monday as uh, we do see, you know, kind of uh, different little waves moving through that flow, but uh, we're hanging back a trough over the Rockies, and that just keeps things kind of wet between the two systems across the southeastern U.S. Uh, we do see one piece of energy coming out on Tuesday, and that one is probably going to be enough to uh, uh, bring another round of uh, rains to the area on Tuesday, but that probably will dry out on Wednesday as we see the trough sharpen up a little bit. A piece is being held back over Baja, California, but the trough generally moving through the area, and so I think with the surface high uh, coming in, we should dry out on Wednesday and maybe even see some sun by the afternoon hour but temperatures staying in the 50s. Thursday, uh, that trough moves on by, and we have a bit of a northwesterly flow, so don't look for temperatures to warm up that much, but it does look like we should be dry as the surface high settles in over the Ohio River Valley. We stay that way on uh, Friday, but moisture begins to return to our west on Friday over Texas and Oklahoma, and so as we see on Saturday, another low-level trough coming out of uh, the Four Corners area, and that will be uh, responsible for helping to create another wet pattern for next weekend. So we're just kind of stuck in this uh, really uh, fast-moving flow with just weather systems and rain every few days. And by Sunday, a week from today, uh, we see that maybe we could be drying out once again as we come under a little bit of a weak ridging. Uh, but we also see something hanging back, so it looks like the bulk of the precipitation moves off to our east. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the, the flow remains pretty fast and furious. It does flatten just a little bit, but still you can see that substantial trough moving through the flow uh, over Oklahoma and Texas. So uh, this is around the 19th of December. So once again, the pattern is staying pretty active. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Sunday. James Spann should have the next one uh, posted first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, congratulations to all the folks at Auburn for the win over Missouri yesterday. Congratulations to my team, Florida State. Looks like Florida State and Auburn are meeting for the national championship. So that could be an exciting game. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. I hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news 
in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.